But why was this thing? It's true. But what I'm trying to say is, if you want to be a worker, if you want to be a laborer, then fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Follow Jesus. Amen. He's a perfect exam example of a worker. And Jesus is love, so become love. Um, there's a passage, I'm sure most of you know, in 1 Corinthians 13, 4 to 7, which describes what love is. Love is patient, love is kind. But I can't remember it all, but that's the beginning of it. <laughs> if you want to see revival, you don't. Also, if you don't, if you want to see revival, you don't need to be a pastor. You need to be a worker. In this passage, in, um, in Matthew 9, 37, it says the harvest is plentiful. It does sound very good, it sounds appetizing, but it is plentiful, so there is a lot of land to work. So you need to work hard. So with all this work, you need tons and tons and tons and tons of strength. Obviously, if you want to see the country saved, you can't do it on your own, you need your friends. So what you need, you need faith. Because in the Bible, if you have faith in God, everything is possible. Amen. Amen. And that faith, the size of a mustard seed, um, which is very small, can move a mountain. Amen. Faith is really powerful, you see, because you can declare in faith that you're going to be healed, and you're going to be healed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. But faith... Faith is to have complete trust and complete confidence in the, lo in the Lord. Through any circumstance, through any circumstance, if you're about to die, if you're, that's a bit extreme, but if you're in debt, perhaps, <laughs> then trust in God, that's faith. Faith isn't, da faith isn't doubting God. No matter oh, I'm going to die. The, the water's underneath me, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. Jesus said, oh no, I'm going to die. No, Jesus, you, you said, oh no, I'm going to die. No, no, I'm going to die. Sure. That's what it was like. He, he didn't trust in the Lord. He, he, he was switching beliefs. He didn't, he like first wanted to trust, but then he doubted. But in the end, he doubted. In the end, he ended up drowning. As he said, he, 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 was, he started to drown. So to have that eternal faith in God, you have to have no doubt at all. And that no, no doubt defines what workers are. They don't doubt in any situation. They don't doubt yeah, in any situation or circumstance. They don't doubt. However, we, we also need something more than faith. Because in... Wait. So... We also need compassion for the world. Because do we have compassion for the people who are spiritually dying and people who are actually dying? Do we have compassion for people who are homeless, who, are, who don't have homeless inside, that don't have a home, who keep switching? Do you have compassion for the people who don't have God? Do you have compassion? Yeah. Anyone? Yeah. Please speak up. Yeah. 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 Did anyone say they have compassion? Yes. yes. Well, then why are we seeing the country changed then? Because those under the bondage of sin, they need our help. But are we giving that help to them every day? No, we're not, but we can change. You can change. Like, don't be sad, just change. Is, I quoted that. So that wasn't mine. <laughs> If you pass up the opportunity to share the word of God to someone, if you're in school like me, and then sometimes I, I, I go over to invite someone, but nah, it's too scary. But then you're holding back what Jesus wants to give to everyone. You're holding back what Jesus wanted to give to everyone freely, but you're holding that back. See, you're his instrument 
he uses you to go into the multitudes, but you're holding his power back. <laughs> if you want to see the country following Jesus, start with yourself, because if we don't start with ourselves, then where are we going to get? Ask God to give you revival and the refreshment of your heart. heart. Like in, in our church, we had an event in Costa. I'm sure everyone knows what Costa is. Um, it was called refresh, Refreshers because when people came, they were getting a refreshment of the heart. They were beginning again. That's what refreshing is. So we're going to turn to another verse. So James 2. 14 and 17, not 14 to 17. So James 2, 14, what good is it, my brothers and sisters, if someone claims to have faith but has no deeds, can such faith save them? And 17, in the same way, faith by itself, if it is not accompanied by action, is dead. I believe that. Because in, in the title of this message, I don't put we need workers. I put that we don't need sitters because this explains why we, we need workers. Because the sitters, they have faith. They have strong faith, but they don't act on that. They don't do. Faith by itself, it's, it's powerless. It can't do anything. It can't. But the thing is, if you don't act on it, your faith and your passion will start to die out. It will just go, it will just fade away. So you need to act on it before it goes. Because it's going to go if you don't act. And the Lord, he, he gave us this because he knows that if we, if we have faith, that we see revival. But then we act on it by inviting people to church, then... He knows we're going to be unstoppable if we use faith and action together. Uh, let me give you an example. Because I want, to, I want you to teach you that faith, you need action with faith. So.
thank you to the worship team and dancers. Most of them have their own cell groups, they are so committed, and all of them are from within the church. You know, we didn't hire any of these like from outside, especially for the day. They are within from within the church. They're the most faithful, amazing disciples of Jesus. And I think they've done an incredible job today. So let's give another second big round of applause.